All right, uh, Gore is making his way into the ring. Brian Solman, Ken Hahn, and Chris Matthews here at the Orleans tonight. Once again, bringing you exciting MMA action. This is all part of that tough enough card. And Ken, we talk about this. You're in the gym training fighters, and they get to this point. It's kind of fun. You're in Las Vegas, and you're on the big stage. Yeah, definitely. This is one of the best um, experiences that someone can have as an amateur. Having a chance to fight in Vegas, in, such, in the casino at that. Natsakanyan makes his way to the ring, and we go up top, and here's Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is in the 140-pound division. Once again, our referee will be Jason Trevino. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He entered the ring wearing the black trunks with white and red trim. And he represents Extreme Couture. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Joey Cooney. And across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, he fights for Filipino MMA. Please welcome Gor Natsakanya. All right, Joey Cooney is one guy who likes to brawl. He says he loves it, loves to stand in there and just fight, doesn't matter what. So we'll see what happens here as he tries to uh, get a win, making his debut. You know, that's pretty typical about Hawaii people. They just seem to love to fight. Growing up in Hawaii, that's all they did. Fight, fight, <laughs> fight, train, surf, and fight. You know what? I mean, that's really the culture. You joke, but I mean, a lot of Hawaiians talk about that. I mean, BJ Penn, I mean, guys who grow up, even money, no money, they like to fight in Hawaii. Exactly. Joe Cooney, quickly with the punches. Not to Kanyan, oh, on top, look and look at the, the hammer fist, the ground and pound. You better watch out for that leg lock bar. there, though. Going for a knee bar, going for the knee bar. Oh! Ooh. For a second there, it looked like it bent in the opposite direction. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was hyperextended back the other way. It really good did punches. look that way. He's got good punches from the top. Hammer fists and straights. A couple more of those going right hands. Bar still. He sure is. How about that, though? I mean, Joey Cooney down on the bottom, going for that submission. Oh, looks yeah. like he may. I think he's OK. He's got a counter ground. Yep. But he can use it to gain position. He's going to try and take the back on that. He's not he's letting go of that leg. From the stop. Not to Kanye, really not worried about the submissions. Or a submission defense. He's just worried about going right hand after right hand. You know, right hand. has come out just relentless. Yeah. Is he going to tire? We'll gonna... see how his bottom is now. Or his ground game. Absolutely. Not to Kanye on the back. Very loose guard allowing Cooney to, well, he's closed seems... up his guard now and he's kind of keeping his arms oh. wrapped there. But we got a little blood here. It looks like they're going to get the doctor. Bleeding. Now it also looks like there might be some blood on, right, on the top of his head. Maybe not. I think it's, uh, yeah, coming out of the nose of Joey Cooney. Not Sakanyan <laughs> just came out on fire, just hammer fist, right hand, right yeah. hand. Also, the ground and pound from the top, I think he was landing a lot of clean shots. Absolutely. I saw one. It looked like it hit on the temple of Cooney, and it looks as if if he would have hit another, hit a, uh, landed, excuse me, with another right hand to that temple, Cooney might have gotten out of there, but. He did well surviving. Not so cunning, came out swinging. This is an advantage, isn't it, for him to kind of oh, yeah. rest a little it, bit? Um, it looked in the beginning like he was a little stiff, but I think it, um, he got all that out. <laughs> Look how fired up he is. Yeah, yeah. He definitely got all of that out on, <laughs> on Joey Cooney. Exactly. Tough kid, though. Tough kid. How about our doctor getting a lot of work here? <laughs> now, we'll see if he tries to go for that knee bar. We can only do straight knee bars. No heel hooks are allowed. No twisting of any kind, so we got to watch out. I think he was transitioning towards more of a heel hook, so he's got to make sure he sticks to only the straight arm knee bar. That's a good call there, Ken, because I wasn't aware of that, and that definitely oh. looked like something he was looking oh, for. Look at the that. right oh, hand. Now we got some good stand-up. Good hands by Cooney, really putting the pressure on. Not Sakanyan. <laughs> not Sakanyan's got to change the pace up now. But the blood is beginning to flow again out of the nose of Cooney. Not Sakanyan has absolutely. <laughs> That's the end of the first round. Oh, no wow. fear. No, no fear. fear. But at the same time, I think Cooney's starting to put his, uh, the jitterbugs out, and he's kind of putting his game plan together. That's a tough kid because he took some punches, <laughs> gave some punches. I think this second round is really going to be a battle. 
This may be the most exciting fight we've seen so far. I would definitely agree. They're and, definitely coming out strong. And you know what, when you have the 140 pound fighters, I mean, those guys generally don't tire as quickly as the bigger fighters they do. I mean, look at all these punches that Natsukaji is throwing. <laughs> exactly. This is where it looked like his knee was bent back the other way, wasn't it? This is where we're gonna see, you can only do a straight knee bar, so at any time if he starts turning and trying to grab that ankle, that's gonna be an illegal move. There's a future uh, MMA fighter right and there. That's the girl that's gonna fight out of our gym next month, so we'll see how she does. <laughs> All right, round two, coming up here from the Orleans. Natsu Kanyan, uh really just throwing caution to the wind. He's got that chin out there. He's looking to set up a little left kick here, or yeah. right kick, yeah. And his hands are a little low. We'll Very see low. That, that definitely it's, seems like Cooney's got the better hands. You're right, and you see he's got his chin tucked a little bit de lower at least. Yeah. Got that right hand a lot higher. Definitely, we'll see. There you go. Not to kind of, you must have heard me tuck his chin a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times, it's it's their stance dictates the, the movement they're going to do. So if they're going to throw a kick, they have to get into a kicking posture. As you get better, you, you know, everything looks the same. You're right. Ooh, nice little left hook that Natsukanyan landed on, on Cooney there. Yep. How about that? Driving for the takedown, Cooney, but Natsukanyan, little BJ Pence ball there, just uh -huh. one leg, just kind of dancing around. It's good bounce. Both these athletes are, you know, they're in shape. They're ready to bang. Does he have the see, guillotine in we'll there? Let's see if he has it. He really doesn't have a chance to kind of arch his back and... As if he can put his head into the ground and drive forward, he may be able to stall it out. Um, now you can also see how the head is on against the post, so he can't really posture back. Exactly. So it might be an easy way for him to just stall it out and, and hopefully um, gas out, go up and gas out. He put him to sleep. Oh. He put him to sleep. Oh, that was enough, wow. Not the Kanye. Not with the fans here tonight. Getting his best Hulk Hogan on in here, <laughs> pointing to the crowd. <laughs> so not the Kanye who says someday I want to be a pro. Impressive here tonight. Absolutely. Very impressive. I mean, I, I didn't think that he had the guillotine or enough position in order to arch kids at the same exact thing, but he put him in, put him out. See, there's your construction work. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Here, let's look at the steel, replay. Right? He just <laughs> held on. Wow. Now, let's see it. I mean. Ducks under the jab. Nice. Throws the left hook. I think that left hook kind of stunned him a little bit. Going for the guillotine. And he even got it with an arm in, I believe, as well. Driving through was Cooney going for that takedown. And that's the Kanye. So typically right here at that well, they would show it, but you're gonna say typically it looks like he might have, must well, have. Well yeah, if his room. head's against that that corner post, he's not gonna be able to tighten it up and pull back. But if we, now now that we see it, I think only his neck was on it, so his shoulder was still on the back, so there there was enough room that he could make it tight. Gotcha. Gotcha. And typically when you have that closed guard, if you don't have your head driving forward. So Natsukanyan in his debut wow. comes away with an impressive win. Does this impress nice. you, uh, Ken, with, in his debut? Well, you know, being that he's coming from that Filipino martial arts school, uh, they have good fighters. And a lot of times if you have good fighters, even there you're debuting, you've still been with the other guys training just as hard. So uh, his fight prep must have been the same, fighting those guys that already had a lot of experience. All right, let's go up to the ring. Here's Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at 1 minute 21 seconds of the second round. The winner by Guillotine Choke in the blue corner. Go, that's a Kanye!